Hey up troops, A Littleton here again, and today we're going to look at roaming. Now, there's no right or wrong way to do things as such. However, when I see people roaming most of the time, I just feel like they're doing it so inefficiently and so ineffectively. And what I mean by that is they've got the wrong intentions in mind from the start of the round. Too many times do I see roamers trying to get an early pick, getting involved in early gunfights where they're trying to force it and end up dying, putting the team in a 4v5 and giving the attackers most of the map control. For me, as a roamer, there's three golden rules. Survive, cause problems for the attackers, and get back to site to cause a difference in a round if you can. When I say survive, I mean don't get into an early gunfight and give your life away early. When I say cause problems, I mean destroy drones, shoot through floors, make the attackers known that you're there, take a couple of gunfights if it's clever and safe to do so. And number three, get back to site to make a difference. Don't get back to site if your, team, if your team's down to a 3v5. We don't want you still roaming on the top four. Get back to site to try and make a difference. There's no point coming back to site post-plant in a 1v4. Okay, so the first thing you want to do before you think about roaming before any round is which operator are you going to take? Certain operators in Rainbow Six Siege have certain utility which is geared up for roaming or utility which can be placed down at the start of the round, therefore allowing you to roam without dying with useful utility uh, in your pocket. So say for example smoke. He's got three smoke canisters which can be used ideally later in the round to try and stop pushes and stop plants. If you're roaming with smoke and you die after 90 seconds, that utility is wasted and not used. That's not ideal. You want to use an operator, in my opinion, someone like Legion, someone like Ala, someone who's got your things utility you can use on the roam. Operators such as Jaeger and Bandit and Valkyrie can also be used as roamers because you can put their utility down at the start of the round and then not worry about if you get picked off early because you've already done your job as an operator as such. Now, I'm not saying that you want to put your three ADSs down and go and spawn beacon and get domed within the first 10 seconds, but once you've put your three ADSs down, your barbed wire or your bulletproof or whatever it is you're using, you can then sort of relax in the sense that you've done your utility side of things, now you need to go and do your job in the round. Now remember, not all utility has to be placed on site. You could take an operator where you can use that utility to help you out on the roam, such as Mozzie. You could be playing, say, Coastline, and you're, you're roaming down an office, and you can put a Mozzie pest on the security door uh, to main, uh, main lobby, and you could also put a pest on the office double door, and also a pest on Blue Bar door, for example. That's going to mean anyone that's trying to drone you out in office is going to lose that intel. And that's going to keep you safe in there whilst also helping you out on the roam. So just bear in mind, any round that you want to roam, you want to be taking an operator where you can already do your job utility-wise and then go out and do a job during the round. So for the start of this video, I'm going to show you a full, well, pretty much a full round where I'm playing Malusi on Chalet. We're defending top four. I'm playing down in bar and games. Now, I'm not going to say I was completely calm throughout all of it because I was getting droned out pretty heavily, but I managed to destroy enough drones, cause enough problems, and end up clutching up and winning the round. So I'll show you that first, then we'll go through a couple of other clips uh, and a bit more discussion, and we'll just talk about, in my opinion, the best way to roam in Rainbow Six at the minute. I get naded from underneath, Mav. All right. <laughs> Found yeah, these know what they're doing. Hey, these are droning me heavy. I can just hear the drones jumping. Uh, just jumped in fireplace, I think. Fireplace level. Droning from camera dunk. They're droning me with that armor, yeah. There's two on the doorway. Got a shield down. In library. Actually, I might be below library. Wet just coming through a kitchen. Okay, so at this point in the round now, I've destroyed four drones in the Iona um, clone. Um, no one's really acted on the drones, which is the team's bit, the, the opponent's team's biggest problem here. Now I know I've got a minute left of the round, I can start coming out and, and causing uh, a bit of problems. I find the Maverick up there on the Mez. That's the hard breach gone, um, which is a, a massive pick. And the Frost gets two picks, put it in 3v2. I know now that I need to get a little bit closer to site as soon as possible. It's a 2v2 now. I don't want to leave my teammates in a 1v2 on site. I get the cool top library, a bit of a lucky headshot on Twitch, to be honest. I could have done with being a little bit closer to site here to try and affect what's going on. I try to look through the Mav holes. I get the red ping. I know I've got an impact left. And we win the 1v1. 
It's literally 300 IQ, isn't it? It's 300 IQ, ref. It's unreal. Sorry, I don't know why. It's unreal. So this clip's much shorter. Um, I need. I should die here, really, actually, but I don't. So key rule is survive. I now know where they are. I'm going to use an impact that I've got in my pocket to uh, to drop the other side of them. Oh my God, that's what's Get the pick on the guy that hit me bottom main, well, middle main. I saw the second one there that was outside kitchen door. Use some oh bit more God. utility. Get another pick there. Who else wants some? We're on Oregon for this one. So to cut this short, I know there's a guy outside the front door because I've seen his shadow. Uh, wildly, though, he pre-fires the life out of me. Yeah, I managed to get a sweet little shot on him. So that's the opening pick as a Roma, which is the dream. Like I say, don't take a fight unless you're sort of confident that the odds are in your favor, which they were there. So I sped this up now because I spent the next sort of minute or so just talking about what just happened. Like there was no drone there. I was he pre-fired the life out of me. The usual sort of, that was a bit weird conversations you get in Siege. So I've got an impact left. I hear a fuse. Um, I'm wondering where he is. So I've dropped the hatch. I hear some footsteps there. I still don't know where they were. I was adamant they were outside the front door, but I still don't know where they were. The only thing I can think is the fuse fused the hatch, uh, the reinforced hatch since the fuse update came in. I've, I've thought about that a long, for a little while, but I still don't know where he did it from. So I thought there was a guy at the front. I thought I'll have a little cheeky run out the front, catch him on his drone, but he's not there. Bad news now because I'm stuck in garage. There's only one way out of garage to do this door. Managed to get through. I'm just trying to cause as many problems as I can. I get an audio cue now. Someone's close, so I start slow walking. Get him right. That's the fuse we, uh, we've we now found. So now I've got to start getting back to sight. Uh, here, there's, I get the call. There's an ace in freezer. Ace in the mud. So I'll just go back into security, and I think I'll hold freezer stairs in case the next one's trying to come down and refrag or something. And then I get the call laundry. So off to laundry I go. Little team kill there. Andrew got a few tiles, standard. In the fucking mud. And that's Flores dead as well. Good roam. Okay, this one's from Bank. We are defending Talas and Archives because we won the first round. I was waiting by front door to see if I could get a cheeky pick uh, early on, but there was uh, nobody came that way. So keeping an eye out for drones in all the usual places. I think I get an audio cue that there is uh, someone on Rapal here on the window. So that's the first pick, which is absolutely huge. I then get a call out from the team that there's uh, there's people top square. Um, so I nip up there. And this is where I'm going to show you now the golden rule of roaming and surviving. I'm about to make a rotate here where I think about running through it, but that don't. I'm so stingy with losing 5 HP, I decide to try and shotgun it instead. It's not my finest bit of rotate work, so don't judge me. See that drone? Destroyed the drone, so they know I'm there now, which isn't a bad thing, because they know they've got to deal with someone. I get a cool one to top square again. See the knees outside stock. One's outside stock. And this is where it's time to survive. If I die there, this ends up as a different round. So go and challenge it from a different angle. Chuck a prox mine, um, prox alarm, sorry. Top uh, top banana just to get an indication if anyone comes up top, top of there. This guy must have some info here because he, uh, he pre-fires me quite a bit. Just the misses, thankfully. So again, he's he's troubled in stock. He knows I'm there. It's currently a um, a three v three. Try and get a different angle onto him and get a lucky wall bang. Nothing there. Two v three. So now I need to start thinking about getting a bit closer to sight. Um, the guy that was in stock, which I didn't know, actually ends up dropping um, the hatch. The, sorry, the hatch in stock and getting into sight faster. So there's a two v two, and then we get the bad news. The plant's gone down. Another drone there on, on main stairs. So I hear an audio cue to me left here. I know there's someone here. And then my teammate cleans up the rest. So that round would have been completely different and we probably would have lost it if I'd have died to the to the person outside stock that I was fighting. So yeah, golden rule, stay alive. This one's super basic, but I'll show you anyway. Uh, I'm holding office. It's already a 5v4 in the round because somebody got disconnected, but... Uh, I'm holding office, which is somewhere I play quite a lot on no, coastline. To be on drone, There's a drone that comes in now, so I hope to pretend to be now. like on my drone on whilst drone. I'm getting droned out, um, but end up getting the timing wrong. Destroy the drone. Just get back to cover and play it safe. Don't over peek. So I know it's a Habana, and she's just swapped from a main gun to a secondary. I actually see her there. 
I'll just entice Angle on the door. There's a drone on me somewhere. Make the gunfight in my favor. It's a banning on it's a 5v2. We get a uh, another pick from the team as well, I'm pretty sure here. Just that. Big up Rubik's Rob. So now we're in a 5v1. And th I mean, this is just funny how this works out here, really. They get the cool sunrise. <laughs> I was actually trying to make a rotate there, but there we go. So there we go. There's just a couple of tips and tricks and a bit of guidance, really, on how to roam, in my opinion. Like I say, there's no right or wrong, so whatever works for you, please let me know. I mean this. If what you've just seen there does help you out in any of your games, get it in the comments below and let me know. I'm genuinely interested in hearing. I stream on Twitch four days a week. My socials are in the corner right now. Give us a follow over on Twitter and Twitch, and obviously sub to the channel and like the video if you'd be so kind. Anyway, that's it for now, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.